20th of June 2023. That's the date that the case against Thabo Besta and his co-accused has been postponed to. It's the first time that Besta will appear alongside uh, his main accomplice, Dr. Nandipa Magdumana, as well as her father, Zolile Sekeleni, and the five former G4S employees. They're expected to appear here in the Bloemfontein Magistrates Court. The proceedings today went a little bit less than smoothly, if I could put it that way. Thabo Besta appeared from Kosim Ampuru uh, prison virtually in court, as well as Dr. Nandipa Magdumana, who appeared from the Kronstadt Correctional Center. Both of them appeared virtually in front of the court officials. We heard that Thabo Besta's attorney withdrew from his record and his, a new attorney was placed on record and that's advocate Jeremiah Pella. Now Pella himself is a controversial character and a controversial figure. He's been implicated in a tender bribery corruption case at the Matteo TVET College here in Bloemfontein and that trial against himself is expected to get underway in June this year. The bail application today was once again rolled over to Friday and um, this postponement is yet another one in this case in terms of the bail application for the five former G4S employees. Uh, there was just not enough time in court today for the defence teams representing each of the accused to cross-examine the state witness and that state witness is a member of the investigating team that's investigating Tabo Bess's escape. He took the stand last week and was providing evidence into each role um, the accused in terms of the G4S employees or the former G4S employees played in Tabo Bess's escape. So there was not enough time today for them to wrap up with their cross-examination in court. The matter has been rolled over to Friday and the main matter which implicates all eight of the accused, that is Tabu Pesta, Dr. Nandipa Magadumana, her father Zulile Sekeleni, and the five former G4S employees, will commence in the Bloemfontein Magistrates Court on the 20th of June. Aaron Singh, Eyewitness News, Bloemfontein.